All Elite Wrestling, AEW, is making a huge announcement next week, this week, depending on when you're listening to this, last week, perhaps, who knows. But it is rumored that AEW is going to be announcing their new TV deal. If not the whole new TV deal, then at least the new show, Collision. The CM Punk show. CM Punk and Friends. Uh, This show is speculated to be making its debut in June. And uh, is speculated to be announced at the upfronts, which is where all the media companies, the TV and all that stuff, announce their big plan for the year. What do we got coming for you? What's our show lineup? Do we got any new shows coming out? Any new this, that, or whatever? The upfronts is where all the TV networks put their best foot forward and say, this is what you can expect from us this year. Uh, so it is rumored that there are big things in the works, including a possible billion dollar deal. For more on this, take a listen to this clip with your boy and my boy and Jim Cornette's boy, Dave Meltzer. I think we all know the big announcement. Well, we know They've got a did. new television show. You got a new television show Saturday night on TNT, eight to ten PM. AEW Collision. Yes. Yeah. And a new deal. So so it is a new deal. What yes. does that mean? They've renegotiated the current deal, which is not up yet, and they've got a new deal starting from scratch or Yes. Okay. There's a new there's a new deal. So basically what happened in two thousand or uh twenty twenty. Yeah, what happened in twenty twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what the the as far as what the new deal is, there's all kinds of rumors. But uh, the only thing I know is that there is a new deal, and um, we've actually talked about some of it already. You know, it's that uh, AW will be exclusive to Warner Brothers Discovery, whatever that means. That means all of the product that is on, will be taped will be on one of their platforms. Whether that means streaming, we don't know. Nothing has been announced for streaming. Perhaps there will be. Perhaps it will be only television. Um, You know, Rampage will continue on TNT on Friday nights from 10 to 11. Um, Collision will start. And uh, Dynamite will continue on TBS. And, um, you know, I mean, that much we know. Money-wise, all kinds of numbers being floated around. Don't know what they are. Length of the term, we'll find out. I think that some of that, if not most of it, will come out, Um, you know. Over the next week, or, or on Wednesday, I mean, nothing's going to be nothing will be announced anywhere until Wednesday. Um, you know, that's the deal that both sides have. But I did get it confirmed that uh, you know there is a new television deal in play, and uh, you know, as far as like what is going to happen with the, as far as like brands, you know, guys going back and forth or whatever, um, you know, that changes daily anyway. So it's like nobody really knows. So look, at the very least, I think Wednesday we get the announcement of the new show, Collision. Um, But we are most likely going to get, because the upfronts are that same day, next Wednesday for Warner Brothers Discovery. Uh, It's very likely that they're going to announce a whole new TV deal or partnership with AEW. And it's speculated to be a billion or a billion plus, a billion one, billion two, billion five. Probably not that high, but you get the point. AEW's joining the billion dollar TV deal club for professional wrestling, a feat that nobody has ever, ever done before other than the WWE. Now, you'll look out on the internet and you'll see all the haters. And I've seen it all, and you've seen it all as well. Look, you're allowed to hate AEW. There's nothing wrong with that. Hate AEW all you want till your little heart's content. That's fine. They have enough people to fill a stadium over in England and clearly doing well enough in the ratings for TBS and TNT to warrant a whole new package deal. And this is an early deal by the way, because their contract is not set to expire till next year. The Dynamite deal, which is why Meltzer is hesitant to say this is a whole new 
uh, deal, or, or I think he did say that they are scrapping everything, but he doesn't know for sure. They're scrapping the current deal, and they're just doing a whole new deal, similar to what they did last time. You know, they, they basically tore up the original deal, similar, you know, the MJF treatment, right? You know, I'm... I am proving my worth and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm exceeding the amount that I'm getting paid. What do you guys think about uh, doing a new deal ski here and see reevaluating our worth? This is huge for AEW. And as I was saying, well, a lot of the haters out there will find any reason to take the piss out of AEW for this from that Mike Coppinger fuckface last week. Putting that tweet out, oh, I heard they were only set for 40000 Well, now they've sold 60000 plus, and they've been quiet about that, by the way. So it'll be interesting to hear if, uh, you know, they're they're waiting to announce that it's been sold out because there are rumors that there's like a 1,000 fucking tickets left. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. But the haters, I mean, God, they come out of everywhere. You've heard that. Oh, this isn't that big of a deal, really, compared to WWE. Oh, WWE, comparatively, you know, they make many more monies, uh, so AEW stupid. And that seems to be the general gist. They're fucking making up stories for the the, uh, the, the Wembley Stadium gimmick, and now they're making up stories and, and trying to say anything they can to take the piss out of AEW and soothe their bruised egos saying that they'll either never get to a billion or a billion's not that much, really. It's only like 200000 a year. That ain't really much, really. Fuck off, man. There is no TV... No wrestling company has gotten a TV deal like this in the history of professional wrestling other than WWE. This is huge. And I don't know how you can call yourself a wrestling fan if you're the one out there wishing for AEW to die and go away and trying to take the piss out of them and, and aren't excited for this TV deal because this gives all of the wrestlers more security, gives them more, uh, gives them a place to work long term. AEW is as secure as ever right now. They are secure like a motherfucker. Like an MJF, for example, if he's thinking about going to where the highest bidder is, he might not end up in WWE. Tony Khan could have always paid the money anyway. We all know that. But this is a situation where this is going to change the game for professional wrestling, period. They're going to be able to offer bigger contracts. They're going to be able to compete with the big boys. Tony Khan could run out and pull a John Cena right now if he wanted to. Don't think he can't. Don't fucking scoff at that. He's got all the money in the world to play with right now. <clears throat> and $200 million per year gives him a whole lot to work with. He could take fucking $20 million as his talent budget. Right? A fucking... What's that? Not even a such a small percentile of what he's making. He can set his talent budget for twenty million dollars and have the most stacked fucking roster. Cause really only the, the upper card main event card is making a million plus. Undercard as low as a hundred thousand dollars a year, probably. Now I've heard that WWE isn't offering anything less than two hundred and fifty thousand. And I know Tony Khan's a pretty generous guy, so maybe Two hundred, two fifty thousand for undercard guys doesn't matter. Twenty million buys you a fucking stacked roster. How about twenty five million? Fine. Thirty million, fifty million. And then you got your live event production for the rest of it. You try to try to run the entire company under a hundred million if you can, or at a hundred million, and then put the other hundred million in your pocket as the company's fucking profit. Uh, even if there's only fifty million a year, you know, and the rest goes on production and talent and all of that. Twenty million a year. Twenty million is probably not much, but you get my point. That's so much money. They can do anything that they want to now. Production value is gonna be stellar. The talent roster be bussin'. They are and they're secure. They're not going anywhere for five fucking years. Now a lot can change in five years, but I don't think it will. It's too early to talk about that, but any wrestler looking about where do I want to spend my time now, what's the right move for me, AEW is a major player in this conversation now. 
And to to have that kind of in, in TNT, TBS is a huge reach. That's a major TV deal to be in. And they look, they're looking to book content around AEW. That's what that slap fight was specifically brought on to do. It was put right after AEW because AEW is an anchor program now. They're going to take AEW and they're going to build shit around it. Period. That's why they got the reality show after as well. They're just going to keep investing in AEW because AEW is pulling numbers for them. They're doing great. They're doing great. Even if it's under a million, their key demographic is 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 stellar. It's not beating WWE, but it doesn't have to. It just has to do really, really fucking good compared to other TV shows on in that time slot. And it does consistently. And the key demo is where it's at for advertisers. Period. End of story. That's not a fucking made up myth. That oh, you know, only under under a million people watch. Yeah, but they're all fucking the age that people want to advertise to. So it's it's a big deal. <clears throat> and then the rumor even goes that it's exclusivity, so it's gonna take them off of YouTube. They can't even have a YouTube show. They have to be exclusive to Warner Brothers. That's why those other two can't, shows were canceled. Uh, and there's rumors that this could move into the streaming service as well. This could make its move onto the uh, Max streaming platform, which is a stupid fucking name. Should have just kept it HBO Max or HBO. Home box office. HBO has been a brand since I was a little kid. Since the 80s, they were doing shit. Oz... <clears throat> The Sopranos. It's all HBO shit. But if they end up getting on the streaming service, even if it's their back catalog, and then, you know, like a day late or a couple days late, episodes of Dynamite and Rampage and Collision, <clears throat> fuck, even if they can get the Ring of Honor content on there as well. It's a big deal. This is a game changer for wrestling. And I know a lot of people out there want to hate and be haters about it. And, and they want to think that it's not a big deal. <clears throat> and they're just wrong. This is a huge move. Uh, I'm not going to have a whole lot else to say about it. Because I really also want to... I'm going to spend some time on it next week. Once this is announced, we're going to cover... You know, I'm going to talk every intricate detail of this thing through and through. So... Uh, I'm going to dive into this a lot deeper at the time. At right now, this is just purely speculation. But based off what we're hearing, uh, every, this looks it's up, up and away for AEW, man. They're fucking hitting the ground running, and they are on fucking fire. It's great. It's great news for the entire pro wrestling industry. And if you don't think so, you're not a true pro wrestling fan. You're a tribalist. You're a fucking WWE fan bootlicker fanboy or something but I, you don't have to like AEW to recognize that it's important for an AEW to exist it gets guys bigger contracts guys look look what happened when AEW was first starting and WWE offered all those guys big contracts now they let a lot of those guys go but the contracts have been significantly increased for talent since AEW's been around. And they have more leverage. They don't like their booking. They don't like their pay. They don't feel like they're being treated the way that they feel like they should be treated. They can always, Triple H knows when he's negotiating with these people now that they have AEW that they can go to. Vince always had him over a barrel for the longest time since WCW died. What, are you going to go to TNA? <laughs> go for it. Have fun. Peace. We'll see you when you come back. AEW is a different story. Guys can go make million, multi-million dollar careers at AEW. And that's important. That's a good thing. It gives guys negotiating. That gives guys bigger contracts all around. It's secure for the business, the competition, whether you consider it competition or not. Regardless, there's the tribalism. There's the beef in. There's the back and forth. There's guys jumping ship to each other. It's good for the business. It keeps people talking. Keeps people engaged. 
All of that shit keeps all these dirt sheet writers fucking employed. It's good for the business. Oh yeah, thanks for checking out the video, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like it if you liked it, yeah. And you can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on the channel. Oh yeah, dig it!